Hello. Hello. So, we've just had uh, a rep from Cyclone. Yeah, from Cyclone Mobility. He's come around and uh, he was showing us some of their Batek um, wheelchair attachments that they have. Yep, so we tried out two different ones. We tried out the... The Batek Rapid. Batek Rapid, which is an ele completely electric. It looks a bit like a motorbike on the front. Yeah, it clips uh, onto the front attachment. of your chair and off you go, really. It's um, we also tried out the, the Hambrid handbike. The Hambrid? <laughs> <laughs> the, hy the hybrid The Batek handbike, hybrid, yeah. Which is, a, which is a, a hand bike, but it's a cross between... Well, it's a hybrid of manual and electric, so it's got power mm -hmm. assist. Let's uh, first go over the, the hybrid. The hybrid? Yeah, I, I like the hybrid. I've tried a few. Um, there's lot. There's lots of companies out there that do that. I think RGK do one. Yeah, what's that um, called? Um, I can't remember what the other one was called. But there's a quickie one, I think. Possibly a quickie one. Yeah, I can't remember what that one was called. We'll we'll, we'll look for the name and post it below. Um, yeah, but we I've tried a few, and I think this is definitely the best one I've tried yet. It definitely seems to be the best. I think it looks the most well built. Yeah. The other ones looked a little bit flimsy, and I would th fear if you took them off road you'd worry that they might break, like actually the RGK UK one we tried back in Stoke Mandeville yeah. and just a little cable had broken and it wasn't working, the, ham the, the whole thing electric power working, yeah. wasn't working at all so you'd think if it breaks that easily and you want to take it off road it's probably not going to work very well Yeah, I mean the caveat of that is that it costs more money Yeah. so most of them come in around well. 4 grand, I think this one's about 6 5, right, five, five 6 five grand, so We'll it's a put, bit again, more. we'll put the, the actual price down yeah. on the screen so you can um, see. But yeah, in general, it was it was quite good. Best one I've tried yet. Mm. It definitely looked robust and um, yeah, not like it was going to break. And from what other people we've heard from people that have had them for a period of time, they seem mm -hmm. to be quite robust and yeah, they it last seems well. like if you want quality, you go for that. Yeah, generally, it definitely seems to be the best quality. Um, so, so so or so we've heard. If if anyone's mm. got any other experiences please, please let us know because we're still quite new to this but yeah so we went off went for a he, let, he let us come take a test ride round um. and it was actually quite good so the ones we tried at the hospital there was just this very small outdoor patio area wasn't it yeah which i didn't think was a very good representation All the of corridors how it would yeah how it would work outside whereas with, with the cyclone rep we went quite far yeah. like on a mile or so loop I yeah, did a, bit, a little bit of off-road and streets, stuff. Um, and it, yeah, handled it very well. It's it's got five different power levels. Um, although I don't know if they're changing this. They're changing all their electronic mm, systems. They were on the. They definitely changed it on the the completely motorized version. I don't know if they've changed it on the handbike. Well, either way, it's it, it, you can sort of lock the speed off at walking pace. Yeah. So we quite go for go for a walk, but then there's you know various levels up to the top level which. They claim you can get up to about thirty kilometers an hour, yeah, which is which would actually. be pretty good if if Claire's on a bike. And I might still even be able to keep up with her. Yeah, so me on a on a normal manual bike, and you on a that handbike should yeah. be able to get at the same speed. Yeah, so walking or biking is is universal in that respect. <laughs> right, did the guys like someone we spoke to? Anyway, I don't know if it was the rep or not, but someone said that they take that the electric handbike, and their wife goes on a normal bike, and they they can keep up at the same speed with each other. Yeah. In fact, I think he even said. He coped with the hills better. Yeah. <laughs> with the power assist handbike. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's there's different speeds. Uh, another good thing about it was it's got weights on the at the bottom by the wheel. Yeah, on the front wheel. Oh, really? Keeps so it stops wheel spin stuff because it keeps the weight down. Yeah. So a lot of um, attachments like that, you would you would lose grip particularly when you come to a hill. Yeah, the there's just there's not enough weight over the front wheel, so that comes with extra weights for that. It also has a bag attachment you can buy for a little bit more, but he's saying if you're ever really struggling, you could put some like a couple of oh, bottles yeah, of water yeah, in there. Yeah, get you even more you, weight for growth. Yeah, that helps as well. Yeah, um, and it's, the motor is supposed to be very powerful. Yeah. He said you're more likely to not be able to get up a hill because you're losing grip to get up a hill than the motor not yeah, having enough power. Yeah, it's a pretty decent motor. 
So it does sound like there may be occasions where you need to add even more weight to get that grip. Do you remember what the range was? Mm, it was quite good. Um, it was like 30 miles or something like that, wasn't it? 30 it was, kilometres or something? Maybe. A little bit more. But you said you could go something for a couple around hours. Around that ball point. He pretty much said you'll, you'll be wanting to stop for a drink sooner than it runs out. Yeah, right. and he said you can get up to 80% of the... So you plug it, it's just charges in the mains, you plug it into the mains. And he said the battery can get up to, I think, 80% of its of its charge within half, half an hour of charging. Yeah, that sounds right, yeah. So if yeah, you can stop for a drink and plug it in in a coffee shop or something yeah. for half hour and get some charge. He says he's never been declined when he's gone in and asked people if he can charge it. Yeah. Well, I think that's generally why is you're not going to stop someone there. That's how they get around. But yeah, it seems pretty good. And I guess if it does work out, the benefit of the hybrid is you have got the manual, you can still manually yeah. cycle the handbike and, and go if, if you need to, even to though it. it might be a bit heavy if it was manual. Actually, the other thing he said was, if you go downhill, it actually recharges. Yeah, slightly. Or if you're just free. So if you're just rolling, yeah. So yeah. if you find you're running out of speed, you could do a lot of rolling and see if that helps. Or I guess I could run along behind and push you and that, <laughs> that might charge it. Yeah, I don't know how much it charges it, but you get a little bit back. It's mm -hmm. better than nothing. They're pretty decent batteries as well. They, they have different sizes, um, and which will obviously give you more range the bigger you go. Yes, but the small, you said only the small one was like flight approved. Yeah, because there's a limit on the size of the battery uh, if you take it on a plane. Um, the, the other thing that was nice was the steering, mm -hmm. because normally you're pushing along and you have to turn and then you end up braking and then you actually lose speed to, well, this is just when you're manually pushing yeah without any attachment but because you can you steer by turning the thing you can keep moving or you know free wheel and turn so you don't lose any yeah. speed by turning which is one of your i think that's one of the things you normally find the most annoying isn't it yeah you just particularly like for example on a camber on a pavement i'm pushing along and then i'm having to brake on one side and push twice as hard on the other side to maintain my speed just to stop myself from falling down the hill, effectively. <laughs> yeah. So that's quite nice. Um, what about the uh, the other one, the electric one? Oh, I was just going to say first, what, what was the braking like again? The braking? Yeah. Well, were they just on the? Yeah, it's just it's like the... bike bike levers. It's it's bike gears. It's all quite um, sort of common parts. Really, it's the Shimano gears, which you can get on most bikes or most bike shops. Um, the brakes, yeah, just disc brakes. They were just on the. Yeah, on the. Was handles. there one on both sides? There was one on each remember. side. Yeah. So you can, it's both. For obviously, there's only one wheel. So you, either one does it does mm. the same thing. But you can use either hand to brake. Yeah, or both if you want to need to brake really hard. Yeah. Um, it has a little um, there was boost a button. If you ever, because it's quite hard sometimes to get going on a on a handbike. Oh yes, I forgot about that. So if you're ever a bit stuck, it has a button you can press, which will get you up to yeah, just, just, so just a couple of miles started. an hour, just enough to get you started, get the momentum going. Yeah. Uh oh, it's raining. It's so bright outside. Oh no. Oh no, we might have to go inside. Take shelter for a little bit. Oh yeah, look, there's the dark. Oh yeah. So anyway, one more thing before before we run off is um, both of them, the the handbike and the the electric attachment, mm -hmm. there's a bracket thing that fits behind your legs on the on the wheelchair. Yeah, just, just under your cushion. And then maybe. there's a stick that comes out between your legs and that's how it clips on and that's the same for all the Batek projects. So if you get get one, it'll be yep. the same for all of them. And but there the, is a bit of cost for them to fit the, the bracket. Yeah, it well, so an buy, additional cost. And if you buy one, they will, they'll ask you to come into their factory to set it all up for you, which is quite nice. So there's no mistake on your part, you can't like, set it up wrong or yeah. put it in the wrong position, they'll measure you up and make sure it's right. You know, if you get a new chair, they'll refit it onto your new chair as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, free of charge, obviously. So uh, let's just quickly discuss the uh, the electric version before we dash in from the room. Yeah, the electric version is very much the same, really. It's just all electric. You've got various yeah. levels. So it's just a handlebar with brakes and the, the speed controls on the top. Yeah, so to go, it's like a motorbike. It's a twist handle. Oh, yeah. Um, and you just, you know, just sort of drive so it that around. That had like multiple normal. speeds as well. And that's the same. The, the benefit of that is that it's smaller, it's more compact, and it, it's just easier. If you just want to quickly clip something on and go, that's that's the one you want. Yeah. Whereas the handbike takes a bit more fiddling around with. Um, and 
you can also, I guess you could do that one, if you want to do something like take a phone call or something one-handed, you can easily steer with one yeah, hand and do that, that whereas right, yeah. you kind of need both hands to actually yeah, work the hybrid That's very one. true, yeah. But yeah, it was a very similar, it had the same like weight system on the bottom, mm -hmm. same way it attached, the same brakes and speeds and everything, mm -hmm. and though you could get that attachment for the front as well, the bag attachment and stuff. Yeah, it was built almost exactly the same, mm. just didn't have the actual handbag. It was fun to ride that one. I felt like I was going on a little motor motor pad. Yeah, <laughs> zooming around on it because that one went quite fast. I think that one goes faster than the handbike. Yeah, well, it's it's not much in it. I, don't I guess the handbike, you get, as much as you put in, you get you can get out. So yeah. you're limited by what you can put in yourself. Whereas that one, you can just obviously doesn't matter how much strength you have, you can just go up to the top speed. Yeah, that's true. Um, I mean, he personally was more of a fan of the fully electric version yeah but each to their own I, he, sa he says eventually most people like to have both yeah. because you use them for different things yeah exactly the handbike keeps you fit whereas the other one is just good for getting around yeah he said he goes down to the shops and stuff with the electric one yeah which you wouldn't really do with the handbike because it's a bit more bulky yeah the electric one's small enough to get go for a supermarket and stuff and he says he can get around all the aisles in his local <laughs> supermarket <laughs> mm. which is uh, it's a bit a bit easier the one thing um he did say about so these are so we tried out the Batic Rapid, there's a but there's a variety of different ones, and mm -hmm. he said not to get one with a small wheel, didn't he? Yeah, um, but they have got that small one, the Batic Mini, I think it's called. Yeah, they do have a small. But he was there, recommending right, not to, the oh, yeah, was re not recommending that one. He said go for one with the bigger wheel. Yeah, I, I think the Rapid's sort of middle of the range because they've also got like a really high power one, which if you're doing a lot of steep off-road hills, I think that's definitely the one you'd want. Um, but for us at the moment, yeah, something in the middle is... Yeah, and at the good. moment actually, um, so we had, we've, we mentioned the price of the hybrid, the Rapid is a bit cheaper yep, a if you get it in green, lime green. Yeah, and that's only while stocks last, so that could easily yeah, end. Cause it they, may end in a couple of days, it may end in a couple of months. They've got a clearance on the lime green ones, yeah, so, once so if you it's get gone, it in lime gone. green it's cheaper and that includes their bracketing cost. Yeah. yeah, so you get that included, whereas if actually if you get the other one, you have to pay that price on top. Yeah, so I think we're definitely going to get one, but we haven't quite decided which one yet. No, I think the, ha the hybrid one. The, the handbike, I definitely want more, but whether it's worth... Getting the other one just because it's cheaper. Yeah, while it's on offer, because he said it's quite rare that they actually come on offer. Mm -hmm. It's only because they it was a special edition one, um, and they hoped to sell them all over Christmas, and they yeah. didn't quite manage it, so... So like the hybrid is definitely our personal preference for what we want to do. Yeah. Mainly because you can keep active and and um, yeah. just nice to get around at the same really. time. So like, you can, we could actually go for a bike ride and stuff. Yeah, I think that's so, it. I think that was it. It's actually stopped raining now. Yeah, typical, <laughs> isn't it? Now, now that we're now that almost ready to go back in, <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. We're not too wet. No. So, uh, yep. Thanks for watching. Yeah. If you have any questions about the the summit, if we you think we forgot to mention anything about any of these, let us know. Yeah, or if or you've if, tried something which you think's better. Yeah, if you have any let recommendations, that, you know, well, uh, also let us know. And if you're interested, you can go to well, if you're in the UK, you can go to Cyclone, and they were really friendly. And they will do a, a free free home demo for yeah. you as well, which is really good. Uh, I mean, um, yeah, the nice thing was the guy who came to do the demo actually was a wheelchair user as well, so. It wasn't like you know someone able-bodied telling you what's better. It's someone who's, yeah, someone who's, who's lived experience. it, who owns one. You know, so that was quite nice. Um, yeah, if you liked it, um, leave us a comment below. Yeah, and subscribe, and subscribe if you like these videos, or if you have any suggestions for any future videos, also let us know in the comments. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you, See you next, next time. time. Bye. Bye. going to get here at the same time. Well, yeah, but I don't want to <laughs> make you run too much.